Okay, so like in the video that I showed, went through the book and showed Lost Ocean uh, by Johanna Basford, I mentioned that I take uh, some of my books apart, uh, especially the ones that I like so much. And I know I could just hear the gasp of horror right now. You know, you dare to take Johanna Basford's book apart, but actually I do. And the reason why I do it is so that I can enjoy the drawings, uh, color them, and even frame them if I want. I can put them, um, give them as, to people as gifts and such. So, yes, I kind of like the idea of having them in a book and it all staying together in a book. But then also I want to take them apart and enjoy them too. So how I do it is very carefully, but actually this binding is very easy to take apart uh, without damaging anything. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So you see here, you just gently work this and the glue will start separating. It will start coming apart. If you need to, you can just gently score it with an exacto knife to encourage it to break loose. I actually have my fingers behind this part here. I um, know it looks like I have my fingers here under this section here. I never put my hand or fingers or any body part under where I'm cutting with an exacto knife. Um, when I was a teenager, I actually slashed open the palm of my hand. So learning that lesson very well. So you don't want to put your hand under this part here while you're cutting. And you just slowly work the binder loose. Okay, so I got it loose, just took my time with it. There's the cover. So now I'm going to take the binding um, here and take some of the excess glue off of the binding and loosen up these sections. Now when you're using an X-Acto knife, it, it's common to want to do this way, to cut this way, and you're aiming towards your thumb, just like how you do a knife, but actually, how many people do with a knife, but actually you need to do it away from you, so that you do not cut yourself. And all I'm doing is scraping along here and taking the layers of glue off. That's what I'm cutting. Now I'm just scraping over it and trying to get any excess off. A little, uh, a little bit can stay here, that's fine, but of course the more glue you get off, the better. Okay, that's looking pretty good. 
the back page, the fold out, had a perforated edge and while I was doing that it did come off. But as you can see, you can just even up the edges very easily. It's made to come out. Now, when I took apart the Enchanted Forest book, these pages were in groups. They were folded. It was double it was double pages folded in groups in here. And there was a lot of stitching and I had to pull the, the threads out and such. And then I separated each section um, and took it apart and that was pretty easy. So I have not done one like this. However, you could go through and you can very easily, very carefully take that apart. I have a little bit of excess glue there. I would just trim that off. Okay, so with this one, it's in the book like this, but I actually personally like it better like this. And I would do something with this, color it, and, um, and then I would put these two pieces together. And I'll show you later how I put my pieces together. Okay, I've come to a point where I've taken enough off that I'm starting to get some uh, rough spots here and here's some glob of glue here. So I want to trim that down some more so that the pages will come out easy. If I proceed, there is a chance that something will catch and then it will tear my page and I don't want that. Okay, how I'm doing this is I can run my X-Acto knife along the edge and I'm just kind of scraping it very gently and trying to get those rough edges off. At an angle. If I do it this way, it's not going to get it. If I do it like this, it's not going to get it. So you're kind of getting it right on that corner there. That's looking pretty smooth again. Okay, I don't need those apart. I want to show you something here. Um, here is a double page scene that I would like to um, color them together and um, make them be one. But you have a picture on each side. And with this one, I particularly like this picture a lot. And I know that it would be a lot of fun to do, so I don't want to waste it by just coloring this and not having this. Now, what I do is you can first uh, purchase the high-end nice uh, copy paper. You can scan this and then print it out on that laser printer, on your laser paper. You also can go into um, an arts and crafts store over into the fine arts department and they have uh, booklets um, in the paper aisle, the fine arts paper aisle. They have uh, thin Bristol board. You don't want the thicker stuff because it will jam in your printer. But uh, you can get the thin Bristol or multimedia paper. That's pretty much what Bristol is. And um, 
you can uh, something that's thin enough like this that you can put through a printer and you can print this out and it would work good for your markers or your coloring pencils but you can find the booklets of paper in different sizes you can also buy the sheets of um, the different papers you just make sure you don't get too thick or that will jam in your printer and then uh, so you can buy the size that's like this or, well my printer won't accept this size so I would have to trim it down but I can also go to an office supply store and have them print it for me or because this is a copyright book I would have to print it So I was going to show you how I put these together. I had mentioned this one earlier. It actually is made to go that way. That's how it is in the book. However, I like it this way. And I think that this would look really nice framed. So how I do this is I take, because I'm right-handed, I take the left side. And um, I put a piece of tape. This is the sticky side up and I put it here in the top edge of the paper. Just something to uh, tack this down. I line this up. I tilt this so I'm not sticking to that paper and I line the lines up very carefully. That looks pretty good. And because this is the straight edge, I didn't tear it or anything, it's very smooth lines. And then I tape that. I take another small piece of tape, sticky side up. And I put it in the bottom corner. And I just make sure everything's lined up before I lay it down. Press, turn it over. And this is where I tape it down the length of this. Now, before I do this, I want to make copies of these. So they've already been copied. You don't want to do this before then. You're not going to be able to get good copies. Okay, so I got it all taped. I don't put any tape on this side. And because it's nice paper, I can color the background if I choose and it doesn't show um, imprint uh, the it doesn't show the outline of the tape along here it probably would if you colored dark but if you press hard and color dark but it's pretty good I've never had a problem with it so you double check to make sure all your lines are right I actually would double check uh, to make sure your lines are connected correctly before I finish taping all the way up. And so that's how I do it. And this is one I will probably frame and uh, keep it or give it to a, a good friend. So I hope this video helped you and made you not so scared to uh, take your books apart, your coloring books apart. and. You know, this is a way of enjoying it a lot longer than while you're coloring it. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, to Howling Monkeys, to stay uh, informed with our latest videos. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful day.